The first thing to look into the EEG is the montages. How are the EEG leads are arranged? Whether it is anterior-posterior bipolar montages, transverse bipolar montages, or average referencing montages. They are arranged in such a way that it gives us the functional images of the brain. In anterior-posterior bipolar montage, we can see the sagittal and parasagittal functional images of the brain. The images are arranged in a sequential format, like from the left temporal, left parasagittal sequence, central sequence, right parasagittal sequence, and finally the right temporal sequence. In each sequences, the leads are arranged in the anterior which is the frontal region, to the posterior or the occipital region. In transverse bipolar montage, we get the coronal functional images of the brain. In this transverse bipolar sequences, we get the frontal, tempo-parietal, to occipital sequences. The next thing to see, while looking into the EEG is the background waves. Which types of the background waves are there, whether there are alpha predominant waves, or theta predominant waves, or the delta predominant waves. In sleep the alpha predominant waves gradually changes to the delta predominant waves, with increasing levels of sleep. After the glance of the montages, and the background waves. Now it is turn of looking into any outstanding waves. The most common outstanding waves are the blink responses, which is seen as a large positive waves in the frontal leads. Which is evident as downward deflection in the EEG. Other outstanding common normal waves are the horizontal eyeball movement. Which is also evident in the frontal leads of the EEG, as a separating waves in the side of the eyeball movement, and approaching waves away from the side of the eyeball movement. Occasionally the alpha waves could confuse during EEG or eating. They usually diminish in amplitude during eye opening, and the amplitude increases, and are seen prominent during eye closing. Other waves that outstands the background are commonly seen during sleep. Like the vertex waves, posterior occipital sharp transients of sleep, K waves and sleep spindles. Posterior occipital sharp transients of sleep, also called posts, are located in the occipital regions bilaterally as positive waves, during drowsiness or sleep. They are triangular in shape and generally symmetrical bilaterally. They carry the same morphology as lambda waves, both in form and in occipital distribution, however lambda waves are during awake state when visually fixating. Posts are completely normal and should not be confused with spikes. Vertex sharp transient or V wave are maximum at the vertex, like the K complexes. They are present during stage 1 sleep. They are narrower and more focal than K complex. Unlike K-complexes, the vertex waves are not associated with sleep spindles. In children and young adult vertex waves could be sharp and in a repetitive run, and one should not to be confused with an epileptic discharge. K-complexes are present in stage 2 sleep. They have high amplitude and long duration. They are diphasic or polyphasic and are often associated with sleep spindles. The common location of K-complexes are frontocentral region with the maximum at CZ or FZ. Sleep spindles are high-frequency waves between 12 to 16 Hz and they are arising from the reticular nucleus of the thalamus. They are maximal in the central region of the vertex. It occur in short bursts of waxing and waning spindle or fusiform-like rhythmic activity. They are usually 20 to 100 microvolt waves and are the features of stage 2 sleep. Among any waves that disrupt the background, the most important is the epileptiform discharges. So, its understanding is very important. Epileptiform discharges are characterized by sharp contoured with less than 200 millisecond waves. They have multiple phases, disrupt the background, are always followed by an after calming slow wave, and should have a sensible electrical field. The epileptiform discharges could be focal discharges or the generalized discharges. In focal lesion it is important to localize the lesion. For localization of the lesion, in bipolar montages, the phase reversal is the key for localizing the lesion. In case of confusion cases, it is always helpful to localize the lesion based on the average references montages. Here the lesion is located at the area with highest amplitude.